Hi, it's Sandra, and tonight I want to show you this cute, adorable unicorn design that I came up with. This is using three Maniology plates and an Uber Chic plate. I also used a gummy, gummy stamper to get this little unicorn even smaller than what he was on the plate. So I'm going to show you that technique. The plates that I'm using is MXM. 035. I'm going to use M052. I'm going to use MXM036. And then I'm going to also use this plate by Uber Chic. And this is Unicorn Love. I just used a couple clouds off of it. The big thing is, is that I wanted to make the base a very pretty rainbow kind of color. And I decided that I would use some different polish other than Maniology and it is stamping polish and is made by Hit the Bottle and this was actually a set. So I got, I think it was six, one, two, four, seven polishes and they are all metallics and they're very, very pretty and I will absolutely have them in the description below. So one is called Jack Frosting, the pink is called Chrome is Where the Tart Is Break up the icing, it's like an aqua color. Sucrose and yet so far, it's like a gold yellow. Anything is popsicle, obviously purple. Sweet child of lime, it's a green. And then nectar of the gods. And nectar of the gods is actually the one I did not use. So it came in a set of seven, I only used six. I didn't want to use the orange. When I first tried these polishes, I had a hard time trying to get the image off the plate, and I knew it wasn't Maniology's plate, that it had to be something else. So I did uh, ask some people on Maniology's Facebook page, and they answered, and it was so great that you have somebody that you can actually talk to to see, run some problems by, and then go off their experiences. And they said that these hit the bottle polishes are so pigmented and since they're metallic, they dry super fast. So in order to get the image up, you do have to work faster with those than you would with any other polish. So what I did was I actually did ahead of time, I stamped and reverse stamped all the images I'm going to use. So here is the little unicorn that I have on my middle finger and these two are the stripes that I that I made. This is the hand that all I did was paint. So I did two of them in one of my new favorite polishes which is ILNP and this one is called Rosewater. This is a really cool holographic paint and that's on these two and then what I did with the rest of the paints the hit the bottle was I used this Maniology plate and all I did was put blobs of paint all over it and I scraped it and then I used my stamper to put the color on my nail. I did first use a base coat and I actually did one coat of this sucrose and yet so far as the base coat. Why I did that was because I noticed that when I was stamping this color off of here, it did not fill my nail. So I didn't want to have white showing through, so I decided to use the yellow as the base coat. All you want to do is open up all the bottles, because you don't want to mess around too long with this, and then just start putting colors on there quickly. And there's many ways to get this abstract colors. You can put it on your stamper, you can put it on this plate. I just thought that the plate would be the easiest way to do it. So I'm just going to keep adding all the colors that I want to add. And then you're just going to take your scraper and you're going to kind of hold it flat when you scrape and scrape. And then I'm probably going to scrape again. And then just take your stamper, pick the color up, and I can't use my, I would normally use my big monocle stamper, but I have one of my reverse stamping 
images on there so I don't have it available. And that's it. You take that and you put it on your nail and that's your, your rainbow effect for your nail. So now I'm just gonna go and put all the reverse stamp images that I had on my nail. And because I have let this dry for several hours, I'm actually going to use a sticky base coat. Right now I'm using Orly Color Care Polish Bond. And the way to use this is just to put a little teeny bit, a dry brush of this and put it on the nail. You just want a dry brush. You don't want a whole gob on there. And I always do the tip. And for the pinky, I just use this little, it's hard to see, but I use this little star, I think it was this one, this little star belt on my pinky. And that's all I did. I didn't do any reverse stamping on that. So I'm gonna do like I did on the other one. I'm gonna take my unicorn and I'm gonna center her on here. There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna go and put the other reverse stamped patterns on there and then I'll be back and I'll show you how to decrease the size of one of the little unicorns. Okay, I'm back. So I've got all the stamps on this nail, on this hand, and they all turned out really well. And I've already put a the no smudge top coat on all of them. So now all I have to do is my thumb. And by the way, when I went to do my other nails, my thumbnail broke and it broke way down. So I just kind of repaired the edge and I'm gonna proceed with this shrinking of this little teeny unicorn right up here. So he is kind of, he's really big and he would no way fit on even my thumbnail. So what you can do is shrink it. I have used the regular monocle stamper to do this and it works perfectly fine, the clear one. This seems to get it a little bit smaller and it's a little easier to maneuver. So I ordered this because I seen it on a video that they had used this and I thought, well, I'll give it a whirl. And it does work better. So I'm gonna take this stamp head off there and I'm gonna put some black stamping polish, and this is Maniology's black on the little unicorn. Wipe it off, and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna smush it as far as you can and stamp down on the picture. And there's the little unicorn. So it's hard to see Hold this up but it is quite a bit smaller than the actual picture and that's what I did with this other thumb as I shrunk them down let's see if I can get this on here very well good picture shrunk them down to fit on my nail and I'm gonna do just like I did on the other ones I'm going to reverse stamp it so I'm gonna put the unicorn the little the stamping head back on here just push it in and it's really, really sticky and really, really gummy. So that's why it's very easy to pick up just by pushing it down on the picture. And now I'm going to reverse stamp it. I'm going to use the pink that I like. This is by Sally Hansen, Heart as Nails. And again, it's 230 Heart of Stone. I really like this pink. I think I use it on everything that I want pink on. And I'm going to use my little teeny brush. I'm going to put, make the mane and the tail and the little horn all pink. And then the rest of the unicorn is going to be white. And the white I'm using is by Studio M, and it's called French Tip. Put a little bit more of the white on there, because it looks like I may have missed a couple places. 
And obviously, since this isn't a clear stamper, we can't see the other side. And because it's not a clear stamper, I don't want to guess on where it's going to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a sticker out of this guy. So I'm going to let this completely dry and then I'm going to put a thin coat of the no smudge top coat over it and then I'm going to peel it off just like a sticker. So I'm going to let that dry and then in the meantime I'm going to put a little cloud on my thumbnail. I'm going to use my maniology. When you make stickers out of these, you really have to let it dry. It has to be completely dry or it's going to be nothing but a smear. Again, this is a uber chic. Plate. So I'm going to put a thin layer of the Maniology Sticky Base Coat on here. Let that dry for a few seconds. And like I did with my other thumb, I'm just going to put the little cloud on there. And I'll probably put another put another little cloud on there. And I need a little bit of tape again. Now I'm just gonna move this out of the way. Let's take the paint off of it first. I'm gonna put the second little cloud on here. And on this one, I did a little teeny sparkles, little blue sparkles on there. And I'll probably do the same. And with the, the sparkles I got from Studio M. And this is called... Ice Cold. And I just took my little my detail brush. Took a couple sparkles off and put them on my little clouds. Okay. So this should be pretty dry. And I'm gonna take my Maniology No Smudge Top Coat. I'm gonna carefully brush it on the little Corn. You want to make sure you cover all of its, all of the sticker. I'm going to let that dry. And again, you want this completely dry before you go to the next step. Now the other way to do it is just to blindly put it on and there's lots of people that I'm sure can do that and have had practice doing that. I have not and even with the sticker there's no guarantee I'll get it on there straight. But I liked, I did the sticker on this one and I figured I'd do it on this one as well because it did work out pretty good. The thing is, is you don't want to, what I found out is when you put this, the top coat on, you don't want to go way outside the stamp because that just leaves area that can crinkle when you put it on your nail. So try to get as close to the stamp as you can, but not, you need to get the whole stamp. And then if you get it too, too much of the top coat on there, you can always use little scissors and cut an edge off. But to avoid that whole thing, I just try to keep the stamp, the top coat the size of the stamp. So let that dry. Okay. 
So this looks pretty dry, so I'm going to pull it up. And you got to be careful with it because you don't want it to bend and twist and everything. And you can see it's got the 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 um, top coat all around it. So I want to place it on here. And you want to get it straight the first time because usually if you're using a sticky base coat and you're using and you're sticking it on there, you've got to get it on there. There's no twice. So I just put it on there and pushed it down. And you can see the little top coat hanging out here. And all I'm going to do with that is remove it with my cleanup brush. You can see it down here. Now one thing too is when you take it off of this sticky stamper, you want to make sure that you don't, if you take it off with tweezers, tweezers can ruin these stampers. So you want to be very careful when you take it off. So that's it. I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to put a coat of the, no, the smudge free top coat. And that's it. I hope you liked the video and please give me a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe. And if you do order something from Maniology, don't forget to use my code NS10. Thanks for watching.